In this video, I will give you one of the best quick tips for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad in the color page that you need to know for the iPad. We are here in the color page and we are going now to windows. And if you create a window like this, for example, let's say we want to create a vignette, something like that and create this and make this bigger. So there's actually a very cool way in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. You can even save your windows as a preset. If you come here to the three dots, you can now say save new preset and then I can give this a name and I say okay. And now every time when I bring in a new window, I can click on this and come up here to the three dots and then just say the vignette that we now want to use and it's immediately the window that you created. This is a lifesaver. It will save you so much time when you're editing because normally you will work with so many windows if you do color correction, color grading in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I have a complete masterclass from beginner to pro where I show you everything in the color page and even for editing. You will find a link here in the description and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a bam bang gong and I'm Daniel. Bye.